Welcome to the KO Boxing Show. Tonight, we're going to have a feature from the Bob Rose Cup at Malvern Town Hall 2019. We're going to showcase the undercard, of course, the Bob Rose Cup and the main event. There's going to be some terrific fighters on the card. Guys like Matt Sheehan, Adam Koalas, um, Eamon Carlos, Georgie Payne, Corey Allen, Terry Zeromanis, some of the old favourites in the Malvern Town Hall. Let's go straight into the fight. Welcome to Malvern Town Hall. Big night tonight, Bob Rose Cup night. I'm joined with former world champion Barry Michael and current top 10 rated super middleweight Jade Mitchell. Welcome to Malvern Town Hall. Thanks very much, Pete. Great to be here with you two guys and sitting between you two and waiting for the first bell for our first fight of a great evening. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. The The entire night we've got here, Baz and Pete, is uh, very well matched. Congrats on uh, putting together a great night of fights, Pete. Our first fight is at super middleweight, Usher Wolf up against Corey Allen. And this looks like a pretty good matchup. Corey Allen, we've seen him here before, and Usher Wolf won and zip from Queensland. Should yep. be a good fight, Barry. Definitely. Two, uh, you know, relative novices with, uh, you know, four fights between them, uh, five fights between them. Uh, you know, good to see Usher Wolf, you know, in his second fight, stepping up against someone with a bit more experience. Looks to be in very good shape. Does Asher Wolf? Both boys look like they're in good shape, but they do. Um, they do. They both look in great nick. Usher Wolf trained by Leo Vatua and Corey Allen trained by Big Ben Chua out at Big Ben's gym in Melbourne. So uh, Corey Allen with the black and the white trestles, and uh, Usher Wolf with the silver and and red. Corey Allen certainly got some good uh, artwork on his on his body there. Plenty of tattoos. It's a trend now, isn't it? Oh, it is, mate. It's uh, I did a did a thing uh, for um, Dipper's uh, backyard barbecues at Packenham a few weeks ago, and I tell you, there was that much ink walked in out of this big supermarket. <laughs> I've never seen so much ink in my life, and on the girls more than the men, maybe. 
You haven't got much ink yourself, have you, Barry? Not one. Not a, not not, a, I'm the same. You, Jade? No, not a single tap, mate. <laughs> Three guys without a tattoo. I think that's a world record in today's society. But getting back to Asha Wolf, <laughs> mate, he, he, he's undefeated. He's one and zip. He seems to be all right. Yeah, nice and relaxed. He seems pretty cool against Corey Allen. Corey's, you know, looking to, you know, neither boys, neither guy has landed a big shot yet. They're just feeling each other out in this opening round. That's often the way with the boys uh, who are relative novices. It's until that first shot's landed, and th these four rounds fight, fellas. It's the uh, quick and the dead. They certainly open up as soon as that first big shot's landed. You're so right, Jade. You know, it's, it's like when you're a novice, you know, you get in there and you, you sort of, you know, you, you cop that first good shot, and then it's, it's all on from there. But, uh, you know, oh, well, that was a pretty good right hand there from, from Asher Wolf, short right hand. Pretty even opening round here, not a great deal between both of them. Usher Wolf told me he loves to surf as well, so he does look like a surfy, doesn't he? Does, he does, he does look like a surfy, yeah. He looks like a, an extra off home and away, mate. And <laughs> <laughs> but he's in there and he's having a go and he's got a German background as well, so he's going to be tough for uh, Corey Allen. No, he's, he's um, Usher Wolf, you know, showing some good, good head movement there and leg, good landing the jab well. He's starting to dominate with that jab, but he holds his head up very high, Usher Wolf, um, but very confident. Yes, it is very high, and um, he'd be well advised to uh, get Back that chin a down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But um, level of composure in only his second pro fight is impressive. For sure. A couple of good shots by Corey there. Good left hand, good right hand. How are we scoring this first round, guys? Oh. I lean towards Wolf, I think, fellas. Yeah, I think I do too. He landed with the, the left jab quite a bit. Not a great deal in it, but probably towards Wolf. Marginally. Well, one. Yep. Here we go. Usher Wolf and Corey Allen just landed some jabs. Did Wolf coming jab. on strong there. Yeah, he likes to use that long left jab. But he, as I said, he holds his head up pretty high. He's pretty up the counter. But a good left right there from Usher Wolf and a good counter from Corey Allen. Yeah, he found a home for that right hand a few times there, Asher Wolf. Yep. You see the, the chin up in the air there. Yep. But um, landed that right hand uh, a couple of nice rights. And um, the only the only knock I'd, I'd have on, on, on that is as he's coming in behind that jab, he's sort of arriving before his punches at times, yep. Yep. Which, which the novice boys will do. But um, sure. just crowd the work a little bit there. Round two, scheduled for four. Corey Allen up against Usher Wolf, Corey super Allen's, middleweight. Corey Allen straight on, out on the attack at the start of round two. Be interesting to hear, you know, would have been good to hear what uh, each corner is, in, what sort of instructions they've given. Uh, I think they've, get, they've basically told Corey Allen to get on top a bit more and put a bit more pressure on. In the four round fight, oh, guys, oh, no, you haven't got much time for the filling out process. No, that's you? it. That was a real good hand from, right hand from Corey Allen. A couple of good shots. Asher Wolf still with that head very high. And when he's coming backwards, that weight's over the back foot with the head up in the air, and there's nowhere to go. True. Corey Allen's going to find a home for that for his own right hand. There it is there again. It is. There it is. Shaking your head's always a good sign <laughs> when you've been hurt. Saying, no, it didn't hurt me. Which means, yes, it did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's been a nice, even match fight, hasn't it? Yes, it has. It's, it's good. Good. Competitive bout, both guys definitely in the contest. Good right by Asher Wolf there. If I was in Corey Allen's corner, I think, fellas, I, I'd be saying to him, take it right up to him, get him going backwards. Um, you know, he's got because he's got, he reaches out with those long arms, as you said, Jade, and as he's going back, he's very open. Yep. Get that chin up in the air, yep. follow up. Even uh, a few throwaways into the chest. Yep. I, I love doing that to make a, make an opponent's head rise. And, and what I call by a throwaway punch is that you're setting up, you're getting your feet in position, you're, you're letting a few go, and then you step in behind as the head rises. Honestly, one of the best shots is the left jab, the head, the right drive to the body. You can really take, the, take a lot out of a guy with a right drive to the heart. And then you, come, you go straight back up the top, of course. Here we go. Spirited second round. It's going to be a hard one to score as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, it, look, depends, you know, how you're scoring this fight. But they're, they're pretty evenly matched, these two guys. But uh, both having their moments. You know, Corey landing a good jab there. Then Asher will come back. Good right hand. Alan misses with the left hook right hand. 
this fight was. I think ring generalship probably in this round's got to go to uh, go to Allen. He he has pressed up. He as hasn't I say that, he just... up, but again, Asher Wolf every now and then does some really good stuff, slips well and count as well, and then gets caught. But generally, you know, both both pretty good. Probably been a bit biased there with my fellow Peninsula boy, Alan. <laughs> You've got you, to probably you, catch up at the Portsy Pub or Sereno Pub there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've, I've actually never met Alan. I haven't you? I was oh, just no. going to ask for the work with him at all, Jade. No, no, mate. No, no, no. I'll tell you, Asher Wolf has got good reflexes. He's got good ability. He just needs to change some, you know, some, some relatively easy things to change. Get his hands up, get his head down. Another competitive bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. tough round to score, I reckon. Great company, Old Tune. Sean Buckley does a lot of good things, doesn't he? I mean, he's done some amazing things for boxing, and, and boxing needs the Sean Buckleys of the world. That's for, for sure. And good, good on you, Sean. You do a great job. And you know, Pete, you put on some great shows. Good to, good to be here. Here we go, Corey Allen, straight on, on to it. Look, I know Corey Allen's corner. Be saying, mate, you need to get on top here. This fight's pretty close. It's four rounds. You need to just start. You know, we're getting to the home stretch now. Start to extend. For sure, he needs to. Whack that pressure on. But Wolf's a sort of cool, calm and collected type of customer. We know his head's a bit high and he is he's a bit calm. of a sort of novice type, but, uh, mate, he, he's nice and composed and he, tough, isn't he? He's, he's nice and side on, which I love, and he, he moves well. He's got good reflexes. But, you know, just some ba basic things you try to change, with him, especially, you know, the, how high he's got his shin. And he's been caught with quite a few shots, but at no stages he's been really badly hurt. And it is a competitive fight. Very competitive. Certainly plenty to build on there from Wolf. He's yeah. got some really nice attributes, but he, he as you said, he's just got to iron out a few of those little mistakes. Exactly. He's actually up on his toes a little bit more now too, Bass. Yep. We're pretty sure with experience, Wolf's going to gain a lot of, uh, you know, he's going to fix these sort of minor issues he has with a head up high and been a bit of a raw novice. The more he fights, I'm sure the more he's going to improve. And Corey Allen, the same. Let's not take him away from same. Corey Allen. He's yeah, been no, great tonight. Yeah. Corey's, Very well composed, neat. Corey's neat. He got his he, hands up held high. I'd like to see Corey go to the body a bit more. You know, like, uh, you know, a guy with his head held high. You go up up the top and then you go down to the body, sort of up and down. You know, Corey's the shorter nugget of the two. couple of good left hands from Corey Allen there, putting the pressure on here. But again, um, Asher will shakes his head saying you didn't land. No, it's, uh, it's been a good competitive bout. I'll just touch on those, uh, the throwaways again. Uh, as If Corey wants to come in close, I, I just love to see him just put that little bit of pressure on, shoot for the chest and come, yes. come up high. Because especially now that uh, Wolf is starting to use the, utilise a little bit of movement, because uh, the chest isn't going to move. And if we can get him to just raise that head, the shots are there for him. Honestly, this is a fight that depends where you're sitting and how you judge your fight could go either way at this stage I reckon every round has been competitive and close they've both had their moments yeah I like our wolf too you saw there he um he threw the uh, tried to throw the uh, uppercut underneath underneath the jab there he's just trying different things as yep. well yep a couple of good jabs from Asher Wolf there How we score in this round, guys? Who, who do you think's winning the fight? Yeah, good. That's a real. I'm saying that's a good question. Corey Allen's putting the more pressure on, but Asher Wolf's also, you know, has his moments. Of, you know, look, we've got an even fight. I reckon. Even fight. Up yeah. for grabs. Even fight. What, what do you reckon, Pete? Yeah, it's up for grabs. I've got Corey Allen slightly in front, with, with probably with a bit more aggression. So what do you think, uh, Wolves in front or? Maybe I look. I, I love variation in fighters. I like. I like to see. I like to see between you two guys, and you know, you're leaning towards Wolf, Pete's leaning towards Corey Allen, and that's what I said about the judges, and that's how you can see this fight. Exactly this, right, Baz. This round could tell the story. More often than not, it does in these four-round fights too, Baz. Good, good stiff, good right the body, good stiff jab the head from Corey Allen there, putting the pressure on. If I was in his corner, I would have said, you need a big last round, stay on top and just keep throwing punches. Asher Wolf got good reflexes, moving away, using his jab, long distance jab. 
Alan very neat composed boxer though, isn't he? Yep. Shot, yeah, Put them together well. Is that right hand of the body or talking about bass? Yeah, it's a great shot. It's easy, very easy to land, especially when, when you're against a guy that's got a good jab. As they jab, you throw the right straight to the body and you, you throw it correctly and you can't miss with it. Straight to the heart. Beautiful jab. Good movement from the fighters. Good right hand again from Allen. Allen landing the cleaner shots of mine in his last round. Yeah, yeah, a good jab again. He's pinched, certainly pinching this round so far. Asher, Asher Wolf <laughs> being cheeky. Yeah, but that doesn't win you the fight when doesn't you do that. The round of the fight. do not no. like that. No. Let your hands up. go. Very competitive first up fight, this. It is, it is. It's a very good matchup. Oh, good. No, Corey Allen, good stiff jab there. Asher Wolf, you know, being very cheeky and confident, but he's being nailed. Yeah, who wants it more? That's, a, that's, that's the way I see this right now. We're down a stretch, not long to go. Both have to really now just give it everything they've got, don't they, Barry? We wouldn't have much longer we got. 30 seconds at the 30 moment, seconds. I reckon. I think Alan's on top this round. Yeah, I've got Alan in front as well. Cleaner work in the final round here. Definitely Alan, fellas. Yep. That'll be good. Oh, good right hand. Strong, you know, a couple of good jabs from Asher. Good right hand. Oh, good nice back return. Here. Good return. Excellent fight. The opening cut, fight of the round. Here we go. Ten seconds to go. Oh, good stiff jab, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. How did you score the last round, Barry? I think Corey Allen should pinch the fight, but it's, it's close. It could yeah. go either way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the judges, scorecard, big round of applause to both partners for a fantastic opening contest of the Brothers of Rose Cup. Craig, a decision on a majority decision so as i said it's one of those fights that could have gone either way always going to make for a great rematch but i think it will mate yep. especially over six exactly i took the words out of my mouth and as we keep saying keep punching <laughs>